the shadfly, a small, seemingly innocuous insect, lives its adult life for mere hours, yet wreaks havoc on the early summer activities of those living along the shores of lakes and rivers in Canada and around the world. Also known as mayflies or fish flies, shadflies begin their short, wicked lives when they hatch from eggs at the bottom of the river or lake. They may spend a year or more in the nymph stage, eating the gunk and muck on the lake bed, and serving as a crunchy little meal for fish and other undiscerning aquatic animals. When the weather gets nice and hot and school finally lets out for the summer, the nymphs emerge from the lake and molt into their winged form. Not one or two at a time, mind you, but by the gazillions. Yes, just when the lazy days and warm evenings of summer have us planning beach parties and pleasant strolls along the waterfront, the shadflies accost the shoreline, hovering maniacally under street lamps and clinging to buildings, boats, sidewalks, and anyone who dares come close to their flapping, fluttering, frenzied fracas. The shadfly provides a vital food source for fish. However, there are not enough bloody fish on this earth to make a dent in their numbers. After mating in one massive, smelly, disgusting orgy, the females drop their eggs back into the water and die. The males, having experienced their one point of ecstasy and no longer having a reason to live, also die. Their rotting corpses litter the beaches, they litter the landing grounds, they litter the fields, the streets, and the hills. And they stink like dead fish. Stinky, dead fish flies. In some regions of Africa, shadflies are considered a valuable source of protein for humans, believe it or not. They are served mashed up into a paste with some other bugs. Delish. I bet you cannot wait to get the recipe. But really, shadflies are harmless. And they're kind of pretty. Like you.